Okay, we've been using Artlist for a long time now. It has literally the best sound effects. It has the best music, whether you want instrumentals or vocals or anything at all. High quality sound is very important for every video. Artlist is now offering a brand new plan for my subscribers. It is basically $9.99 a month if you purchase an entire year, which comes out to $119 roughly, or you could pay $14.99 a month. With that, you have access to absolutely all of Artlist's catalogs, and you can use them on every single social platform, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, you're covered. If you're just starting out or maybe thinking about taking the first steps and becoming a content creator, the personal plan is what you're looking for. For minimal investment and practically no commitment, you can get high quality music and sound effects that will boost your video's production value. I guarantee it. You know, starting on YouTube, one of the hardest things for me was to find good music that I was allowed to use. Before playing places like Artlist, you would have to purchase the rights to every single song that you use, which could cost hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a year, versus now with a subscription, you can put 35 songs in a video and you'll be fine legally, which is amazing to me. If I had Artlist 10 years ago when everything started, it would have been a lot easier for me. You know, copyright strikes, uh, my videos not getting demonetized and that type of thing. So it's a really, really good tool for any creator, whether you're already in the YouTube, Facebook space, or you want to get into it. And for my subscribers, if you use the link below, you get two free months at Artlist or two free months plus $100 off Artgrid. So thank you to Artlist for sponsoring this video. Yo, what's up and welcome back. First of all, I wanna say sorry about last week's upload. We were in the middle of building an escape room and, and I'm not gonna show you the, the mess that's going on here, but we've had guys here for a week installing this escape room. I'm so excited for this. It's probably the biggest thing to happen on this channel ever. A really big investment. There's something in it for you guys as well. So looking forward to posting that. I believe the video of the escape room will go up February 9th. So mark that on your calendar. It is a Wednesday. And until then, we're still Still working out some things. It's been a process over a year in the making. A big job and there'll be more details on it in future videos. But today we're looking at this. Uh, you Asaka, this guy, this you guy, he's uh, created some of the craziest jigsaw puzzles with some of the most intelligent, brilliant solutions that, uh, that have left me scratching my head for hours and hours and hours. And I couldn't wait to get my hands on his two brand new puzzles. Here they are, Bird 11 and Jigsaw 16. Uh, the packaging here is really beautiful. And not only is the packaging beautiful, Beautiful. The actual pieces are the, the the sort of boards here. Are nice. This mat and this lustered finish on the inside. Uh, I know that Mr. Puzzle solved this one on his channel. I have not looked at his video. We'll see if we can do it uh, in under 30 minutes. I don't even know how long it took him. See if we can beat that time. I'm not very confident as USOC's puzzles usually take me a few hours. Regardless, we're here to have fun and solve some puzzles. So if you like this content, you like what we do here, hit the like button, subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Mr. Asaka, we meet again. So we have two puzzles here. This is Bird 11, Jigsaw 16. Love the packaging first and foremost. This looks fantastic. This is a 16 piece puzzle and this is an 11 piece puzzle. Uh, the difficulty here is two out of five, 15 minutes, three out of five, 30 minutes. So within 45 minutes, we should have these solved. Uh, solution is not provided in these puzzles, which I do enjoy. Let's take a look. Love that, wow. This is a really nice finish on here. It's like a matte black with the lustered sort of shiny black in the back. Very pretty, just uh, great to look at. And here are the pieces. Really interesting puzzle, this one, as it reminds me of those like children's games, you know, those puzzles you had as a kid where you had the shapes that had to fit in. So it's kind of like an adult version of that, I guess. And I mean, <laughs> everything looks simple enough. Let's just take a look at the pieces here. Let's take a look at these pieces. A few of them are already standing out to me as being a little bit different than the others. They're obviously, they obviously are all different. Even these two, as you can see, one is slightly angled off. Uh, however, this one here stands out to me. Okay. This one has five, right? It's got five. Okay, all right. I mean, I guess we just try and see what happens. This one doesn't look like it could fit anywhere. Like it does not fit there. It definitely doesn't look like it could fit anywhere. This one might be the outlier in this puzzle. It looks like it can only really fit in one of these places. And I mean, I've yet to find out which one that is. It's not quite obvious, is it? Maybe here? Yeah, seems to be the only place that it can fit for now. So we'll leave that one there. As you can see, it doesn't perfectly fit. 
uh, and it's not supposed to, this is kind of what it's supposed to be. Let's just uh, go ahead and start. Oh, and they rotate and they flip. So there's a lot of little possible solutions here. Well then, well then. Not as obvious as you think it will be, which I do enjoy. All right, that one fits there. That one, this one looks like it might go here. No, looks can be deceiving. So obviously these pieces fit in more than just one configuration and that's what makes it a little bit difficult. This one, that looks like a perfect fit and end. It, indeed it is not. <laughs> wow. Oh, here we go. That one looks like it fit. No, see that looks like it'll fit there and alas, it does not. Uh, maybe here then. No, still. Oh, flip it this way. Yes. I think these two are definitely good to go and those will fit there and stay there forever, I think. <laughs> Already starting to see the trouble with this one here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, sir. No. Uh, no. 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 We've got a problem. So this one looks like a little, this one looks to be um, very, a difficult piece. So if we can find a great place for it, kind of like there, now we're stuck with this one, which might fit elsewhere. I like this, I like where this is going actually. No, possibly here though. Also no, here, no. Uh, these double wedges here, like that, those seem to, uh, here, yes, okay, we're doing good. Again, the double, the double sort of wedge here will allow for these uh, pieces to fit. It's that one or this one, it's that one, good. We got a triple one, that one there, another triple. This one looks as though it might be problematic. Yeah, wait, here, upside down? No, this way, this way. This way, this way, okay. That one's not gonna work either. This one definitely fits there. Uh, oh, oh, that's a no-go. Okay, so we've got two pieces that do not fit in those slots. Therefore, we wanna look for two pieces that do fit in those and then hopefully switch them around. So, before we try and fit this one elsewhere, let's see if one of mine fits in here. It can be a possible replacement. If not, we will place it right back. We're gonna go about it pretty logically here. So that seems like a no for that one. Also looks like a no for this one. So this one will just remain here for now. Okay. <clears throat> Which one of these could possibly fit in here? This one looks like it could fit here. Looks like it, but again, it can be very deceiving because they're off just by a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's a no. Could it fit in here? Also no. Yeah. So that one will go back to where it was. Okay. What about this one? Hmm. Looking for something that could fit here. This one looks like it might do the job over here. Somehow, no, definitely not. Here, possibly. Yes, so that one fits there, which frees up this one, which now might be able to accommodate one of these guys. And if that's not the case, then we're in trouble. And it doesn't look like it's the case, so it definitely looks like we're in trouble. How is that for a start? Oh, God. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. not cool, dude, not cool. No, so close. Now we're kind of going backwards here. Oh man, I'm losing track of which ones I tried out. Triple one. See, that's the one that we said wouldn't move because there doesn't look to be any other place for that triple one, but there might be. So what we need to fill in one of these triple ripples, triple ripple, 
is uh, like a double and a single beside because there is no triple opening. So double, no singles beside. So it doesn't definitely doesn't fit there. Um, it really, I think that's the only place that that one can go unless it goes here and it does not fit there indeed. So that, that one's gotta stay there, unfortunately. They really do look like they could fit in certain parts until you put them down, you realize they did, that they don't. Uh, I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. I think this one could go somewhere else. Maybe I'm wrong about that. There are a certain number of pieces that only fit in one place. I'm a firm believer in this, uh, that they don't all interchange. Obviously this would be an easier puzzle, uh, but there are some that only fit in a certain place. That one only fits there, I believe, allowing this one to fit somewhere else, possibly here. No, possibly here. Also, no, possibly here. No, Ugh. like I said, I don't think this one fits anywhere. This one doesn't fit there yet. So this one's gotta go here. That's the only place I found for this one. Unless maybe it will go here. It also fits there, great. Uh, but this one then doesn't fit there. So this one has to go here, which means this one then has to go here, unless it also fits here. Hold on. Which it doesn't, great. Good, that's good. Progress. And the only way I know that is because I'm looking for one of these double openings with a single beside, like offset. And uh, maybe here actually. Flip it around. No, see, it doesn't fit there either. Perfect, that's good, that's good. These two, good. This one, kind of a perfect fit here. Kind of a perfect fit, but for argument's sake, we might see if it fits elsewhere. It doesn't fit there, and it definitely doesn't fit here. There's no room for it there. Okay, so this one looks like it very well goes there. Okay, oh man, so these two are good. This one, let's try this one out. Does this one fit? Anywhere else, possibly might be able to fit here somewhere. Oh no, I think we've tried that out actually. Yeah, it doesn't fit there. All right, this one, maybe here. Yes, that one fits there, leaving us this one, which could maybe help us out. Um, by the way, it's been 14 minutes, so. <laughs> That time challenge is, uh, isn't that generous, I feel. Sorry if I'm not chatting my way through this. I'm just trying to focus here and find some type of free space. Once I get it down to one, it'll be easy. Once I get it down to one piece that doesn't fit, I think things should be going a little more smoothly for me. This one is very tricky. This one I don't believe fits anywhere. So I think the moment I find where this one goes, it should help me free something up. Help me free this up, which might fit here. Oh, I thought for sure. Here? Oh no, here? No. That one can go here, but then this one doesn't fit anywhere wait actually no yeah anywhere again this one looks to be there's only one configuration where there's a double opening and a single opening and i think that's the only configuration that would allow this so that has to be there that is a given because that one's that gap's too wide here yeah so now we need a double opening with a single a double opening with a single beside it kind of like this a little offset doesn't fit then it would be kind of like this right where this is where it was initially these two inner switch between those but if i put this one here is there a double and a sit like this oh, that would have been so good is there is there another place for this one to fit and if so then that one definitely belongs there we can say that for sure so oh let's go Okay, one left, this is good, this is good. <laughs> All right, this is good, I like this. All we need to do is find out which one of these fits in here that this one could replace, if that makes sense. So let's say for instance, that one obviously doesn't fit there, but if, if that one fit there and this one fit here, then we would be good. 
Actually, we can just figure out a replacement for this one now. So we need two single gaps, two single gaps anywhere, kind of like the one we took out here. I feel like that would work, but then that one wouldn't fit anywhere, right? That would, yeah, this one kind of fits everywhere, which really bugs me, really bugs me. Because it could also fit here, no? Oh, it can't, oh, okay. So really here, if that goes there, we're still looking for something to fit this one. But this one, remember, it was this was like the only place it could fit, this and like another place. So for now, I believe that this one needs to be swapped out somewhere. And that one can clearly fit here. That's a, that's a clear fit. But then we're stuck with this ugly configuration. Love the creativity behind this puzzle though. So this one and this one, these two switched out. We got no room for this one anymore. So finding another place for this one other than here would be great. Other than there would be great. I think that's a fit here. Wait, this is the one that wouldn't fit anywhere else, right? Actually would fit here, but then we come up with the same problem. Doesn't really help us. Oh, it doesn't fit there. Okay. Like, no, that one. Uh, no. Here. No. Here. Yes. Okay. Different dilemma. Always something. Always something going on. going on 25 minutes now. Uh, so anything you Asaka says about time is irrelevant to me apparently. I am no genius, clearly this man is. All I need to do is find out which piece fits here. That's my next move here. All right, there we go. Okay, now all I need to do is find out which piece goes here. Simple as that folks. It's as simple as that. That one can fit here, so what if this one could actually fit over here? Then that would be game over. Ah! Got it! Let's go! Alrighty. Flush and plum. Look at that. That is a beautiful little solution. You Asaka, you son of a gun. You've done it again. That is the, okay, that took me a total of like 27 minutes. Uh, so double the time that they said it would, right? Roughly, they said 15 minutes and it took 27. Um, so let's move on to the harder one, which says 30 minutes, which should take me an hour. Wow, I love the color of this one. Look at that, that matte sort of beige with that lustered white in the back, just absolutely pretty. The pieces only really come to life when they're on here because you can barely see them on this mat. Okay, this one looks a little more difficult for some reason, but let's just give it a go. Uh, I guess I'll start a timer. I don't know why I didn't start on the last one, but here we go. Boom. So I'm guessing a lot of them just kind of fit anywhere. And ideally, there would be some perfect matches, right? Ideally, that's the, uh, I think that's the main goal here is to find like a perfect match. Because once we find that, there's no disputing. Well, there really is disputing, but for the sake of argument, there, there'd be no disputing that that goes wherever it was meant to go. Take a look at the pieces here. I know you guys have a hard time seeing them, but Let's take a look at what we have. So this is one that seems to be popping up a lot, you know. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean because it fits somewhere that it goes there. You know, we all know how this guy operates and it is well without the lines of logic. I assume there's some type of trap somewhere. Let's just get one piece of fit, you know? 
just one because a lot of them can go kind of wherever we don't want that we want like the perfect matches noticing now that there is none that is like this shape there is none that is that shape okay that's good and there's none that is this shape okay so closest one to that would be like like this or something right which doesn't fit let's got this which is an interesting piece in itself. Yeah, I can start understanding how difficult this is. I can appreciate that. All right, let's just get something to fit somewhere. That's a good start. Okay, that's a fit for now. There's gonna be a lot of trial and error. That's all this is gonna be. I'm just going to attempt every single configuration for this puzzle piece until something sticks. And then if we need to rearrange it later, we will do so later. Okay, I'm trying to get the more complicated pieces out of the way at the moment. It's tricky because there is a few ways that they fit in. You're really going to make sure you've attempted all the solutions before you move on. Again, much like the other one, <clears throat> the more pieces we have that fit, the easier this is going to get progressively. When we're down to one piece, that'll be the ideal situation because then we can really eliminate a lot of the options that we're left with. Um, you know, if we're down to three pieces, it gets a little bit more tricky. So let's just continue trying to fit the pieces the best we can by process of elimination. And obviously there are some pieces that fit in different ways. And that's going to be the tricky part is to figure out which ones those are and which ones only have one unique place that they can be put in. That's what we're looking for. Ideally, we just get lucky. Just a bit of luck on our side, you know? That's all we really need. All right, this one looks to not fit anywhere, which is concerning, which means I've overlooked one possibility at one point. Start again, so we'll go like, we'll kind of do this. And the only other possibility is that it fits in one of these that we've already taken, in which case it would be good. In which case that would mean there is only one possible place that this could go, which would help us eliminate one of these squares. But I just want to make sure before I move on to those squares that it really doesn't fit anywhere else. It is very vital that we don't mistake this piece for being a piece that could fit somewhere else. So just for funsies, it does fit there. Now that doesn't mean it doesn't fit here or here, but I'm going to assume that that's the only place for that, which then brings me to this one again. Hopefully this one ends up popping in somewhere else. There we go. Okay, that's good, right? Move on. Okay, the fact that that fits right away, I do not like, but we will just move on. Corners seem to fit a little easier, kind of anywhere. A piece like this is interesting because it has two ends, two male ends like that. So there's only a few spots that it could go. Like it can't go here, here, right? This is just the longest part here is just trial and error. So this one uh, needs to go somewhere where there's already another square because these options we've exhausted. Yeah, which definitely means it goes somewhere that we've already placed something, which is never good, but ultimately gives us more information. So leave that aside. One of these is incorrect. All right, we're down to four pieces that do not fit anywhere. Cool. All right, now to figure out which ones don't go anywhere. Um, I think the corners, like I said, they kind of fell into place a little bit everywhere. So I think we just take the corners out and try to figure out where the other ones go first. Makes sense to me and that's all that matters. Obviously none of them fit perfectly. That's just one thing, like never am I gonna get a piece that's gonna like fit absolutely perfectly in one of these things. Those are really just to throw me off there. Which I don't appreciate. I don't like that at all, not one bit. Let's try to fit these corners in, I guess a little bit anywhere. That'd be great. Oh, well, that one fits there. That's a good fit. Oh, so that one and that one are like identical, except for, no, they are absolutely identical. Oh, except for that line there. Okay, maybe this one fits here. It'd be great if it did fit here. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not talking, a lot going on here in my head. We've been on this one for 23 minutes. It seems to be going all right. But then again, you can never be sure. All right, we're down to two pieces. That's actually huge. Let's go. Let's go. Final one. Ah, let's go. <laughs> 
24 minutes. This one actually took me less time than the other one. Um, I mean, I'm going to attribute it to blind luck. Um, there's no way. There's a few. There's a few moments where my head was kind of working in the right direction where I knew that certain pieces had to go somewhere but honestly I was just kind of blindly putting things there and switching things out I'm very happy that that didn't take as long so under 30 minutes for this one uh, which is interesting because that's actually what it says here 30 minutes so it, you know what I did this one just in time uh, the other one did take me twice as long as it should have but I feel like that is fair um, and that's what happens with some of these I guess you just get lucky a little bit and if you have a little luck on your side it'll take you less time uh, you're not constantly switching up pieces like I did on the other one. So there you go. Well, hot dang. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the two new US Soccer Puzzle solved. A lot of fun. Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, not as satisfying as is uh, the small packing ones. There's something about that that uh, looks nothing like a puzzle, which is why it's fun. However, I did enjoy this a lot, uh, but it's just kind of blown my mind that the easier one took me more time. And again, it's just a testament to putting the pieces in the right places, a little bit of luck involved there. Obviously you're on the wrong track. It's gonna take you so much more time to figure out. I left a link to both these puzzles below. You can purchase them on puzzlemaster.ca. That is it for me, and we'll see you next week. Peace.